Well, apparently I wasn't recording and I'm sitting here talking to my camera like I was. However, I pulled this up. Hey guys, it's Jason the Magnetic Squatch out from the Magnetic Squatch Magnet Fishing Adventure at a brand new spot I have not been to before. I've looked at this spot on the map a lot. I've driven over this going back and forth to my sister's house and to a, a restaurant we'd like to go to up here. But I'm just now finally getting out here. Um, it's a beautiful spot. I mean, really take a look at this place. It's a boat ramp, small creek, got the bridge over there. And then we also have this guy right here. That's right guys, look who's here with us today. It's Jason from Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. Finally, I, I had to go grab him by the ear and drag him out of bed to get him here today. But here he is guys, I can't believe it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The link for Daddy and Daughter Plus Water will also be down in the description. Make sure, make sure guys, if you're not yet, you get over there, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for him, show him some love. Guys, also make sure everybody else, everybody who knows us and follows us, make sure you get over there and tell Jason you're happy to see him again. You know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna get the magnets on. I just did it. I haven't done that in forever. Hey, it must be me. It's you. Yeah. We're gonna get the GoPro on, get the magnets in the water, and see what we can find for you today. All right, guys, here we go. You know, as usual, I am using my Kratos Titan 360 3,800 pound magnet. If you'd like to get yourself one of these, check out the link down in the description below. Guys, let's get her into water and see what we can find out here at this new boat ramp. All right, guys, I've got my first find on here. It's, uh, well, <laughs> it's part of some pliers. I guess I can give this one a good tool yell. Tool! Um, the other handle is missing, though. All right, guys, we got some stuff on the magnet on that pool. Oh, check that out. We got a old strap hook. That's pretty cool. And check out this rattle trap. This thing is pretty sweet. It's still in good shape. The hooks need to be replaced. But that's a nice rattle trap. All right, guys, we got ourselves another find here. It looks like it's an old crab basket. Check that out. Somebody lost themselves a nice basket. I'm sure I can find somebody who would like to repurpose this and use it again. That's a uh, last couple of weeks I found three or four of these things. Oh man, look at that big old hook that's in it too. That's a monster hook. Check out this knife. Oh yes, dude, that is an awesome knife. Oh, and it's not even that bad of shape. Oh, this sucker's getting cleaned up. This is probably going to start being my carry knife for a little while right here. Yes, sir. Right on. So this boat ramp has a ton of kayakers going out off of it today. And it's actually really, really cool. You've got a few kayak companies out here that are uh, doing kayak tours and putting everybody in their kayaks and launching right here and heading north up the creek this is pretty super cool i'll tell you what all right guys look at that i got a piece of somebody's ear pods <laughs> it's... all right guys check out this fishing lure i just pulled up treble hook big old spoon on the back of it heck that's a nice one right there I'm gonna go set this one up there with that rattle trap and if there's any fishermen who come up, they are welcome to them. This one says Blue Fox Sp Spinner Vibrax. Okay. Blue Fox number six Spinner Vibrax. Right on. All right guys, we have moved up to the bridge. Jason is right here. We got a bunch of uh, fun loving kayakers going up under the bridge. Whole bunch of them leaving the boat ramp over there. They've got a beautiful day ahead of them. You're going to be YouTube famous. <laughs> All right, guys, we got us a magnet full of gobbledygook. Bunch of rusty, crusty nails and all sorts of stuff. 
they just redid this bridge and I think they finished it here over the last year or so. So there's probably going to be a lot of construction type material down here. So we'll see. So far, all it's been from this bridge is just a bunch of, bunch of nails, a bunch of rusty crusties and nails and stuff. I'm sure there's more down here. We just got to find it. An island of weeds comes floating out from under the bridge. Well, I think I have finally something other than nails on this find. I mean, we still got a nail, but we got a uh, spinner bait of some sort. Not really sure what that was off of. And of course, another nail. Tool, tool nuts, ah, ah, ah. Oh, and some rebar. All right, guys, we got ourselves a big old bridge lag bolt here. And of course, some more nails. And a bunch more nails and pieces of rebar. Well, at this bridge and at this location, not too much. We had a couple pretty cool finds. Jason, Jason down there got a banger of a find. However, you're gonna have to go to his channel, Daddy and Daughter Plus Water, and check out what it is. We are about to move locations. We'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, and we've moved on to our second location. Jason's still out here with us. Uh, we are at a place, this is the Nassau River. Uh, again, another first time for us. It looks pretty good. It's kind of a tall bridge. We got two sides to fish on here. We're gonna get the magnets in the water. All right, here we go, let's get her in the water. All right guys, on that first toss out, we got something here. Looks like it might be some old chain. Oh crap, I just locked onto something massive. And it definitely was a click. Oh, oh. Whatever that was, was massive. Yeah, this current is moving so strong. Like I feel when I'm pulling my magnet in like it's coming up off the bottom and floating. All right guys, location number three, spot number two, just wanting what we were thinking it was. The current was just way too strong there. However, three times the charm maybe, we'll see. We're at a very shallow creek area here. Jason's gonna be fishing over there. Might try that side of the bridge a little bit later, but we're gonna get to it. All right, guys, I just snagged something. Okay, check out that pipe. Wow. That is a big, long pipe. Oh. We got a uh, CO2 canister on here. And this big old long pipe up out of the water. And we got, oh, what looks like it. Well, I was gonna say it might be part of a fishing pole, but it's not. I don't know what that might've been off of, but it's just a piece of metal. All right, guys, we got ourselves another piece of metal. Just like it was an old L bracket of some sort, old uh, angle iron or something. Dude, it's not a gun, but look at this knife. Well, apparently I wasn't recording and I'm sitting here talking to my camera like I was. However, I pulled this up. It snapped when it was on the blade, or excuse me, when it was on the magnet. But man, that is a, look at the curvature of that knife. Look at, look at that blade. <laughs> right on. CO2 canister number two. All right, guys, I locked onto something here. Don't really know what in the world this is. It's a uh, kind of springy right there on one end. It's got, oh, you know what I think this might be? This might be like a trailer plug-in. 
And that's what I think this might be. Guys, let me know down in the comment section what you think this is. But I'm thinking that this just might be like a trailer plug. Switch side to the bridge over here. And on my first toss, I pull up. But looks like it might be just a bridge bolt. A bunch of rusty crusties. But over here on this side, it looks like somebody has thrown out a plate. It's got stuff written all over it. Looks like they, uh, they weren't happy about something. But yeah, there's writing all over these. Like they, uh, oh, on front and, front and back. That's wild. We will uh, definitely be picking up as much of this and taking it with us because it's garbage. It needs to be in the garbage. But there's a lot of it. All right, guys, I got a piece of sheet metal or something here. Um, oh, that looks like a microwave door. That's what that is. Oh, that tell me there's a microwave down there also. But that is definitely a microwave door. This just came up. I really don't know what to think about it. It's kind of, it's got like designs to it. I don't know if those were wheels or what. You know what, guys? I'm going to turn to you again. Well, these turn. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn to you guys. Let me know if you have any idea what you think this might be. All right, guys. We're going to call it a day. It was fun. I had a blast back out with my buddy Jason again. It has been a long time. It needs to happen more often. Um, I teased you a little bit earlier about uh, having to go check out his channel. But I think Jason said he wanted to go ahead and show it anyways. This is what he found at that first location. Absolutely. That is a Remington 12 gauge pump action shotgun. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Absolutely. First time out in what, four or five months? Four months, yeah. And what's he do? The man's just amazing. That's just, it's just amazing. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Check out the link for Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. It will be down in the description. If you would like any merch or magnets, those links will be down in the description as well. Guys, from Jason and myself, make sure you leave the place a little better than you found it. Stay squatchy, y'all.